Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I will go to the altar of God, to God who gives joy to our soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins unto Almighty God in asking for his forgiveness, let us recite the second act of the Confidio. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you. And with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust that God will act and make your integrity shine like the dawn, your vindication like noonday. Alleluia. I wait with longing for the Lord. My soul waits for his word. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God our Father, 
At his ascension, your son promised to send us the Holy Spirit. Fill us with your power from on high, so that through your holy church, we may be your witnesses in the world. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Most loving Father, bless those who have served in the armed forces of our nation and receive the souls of those men and women who gave their lives in the service of freedom as they gave themselves to advance the ideal of world peace and justice. May they inspire our continued efforts toward this same end. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. On this, the seventh Sunday of Easter, the first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the Apostles returned to Jerusalem from the Mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary the mother of Jesus and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for today is, I believe I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that when his glory is revealed, you may also rejoice. If you insult, if you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let no one among you be made to suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as an intruder. But whoever is made to suffer as a Christian should not be ashamed but glorify God because of the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will listen for the word of God. 
Surely the Lord will proclaim peace to his people, to the faithful, to those who trust in him. Near indeed is salvation for the loyal. Prosperity will fill our land. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, how great is the glory of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you. Just as you gave him authority over all the people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belonged to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones that you have given me, because they are yours. And everything of mine is yours. And everything of yours is mine. And I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters gathered in Christ Jesus. On May 8th of this year, our country marked the 75th anniversary of VE Day, when World War II came to an end in Europe. Of the 16 million Americans who served during this war, only a small share of those veterans are still alive today. 
According to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, there are only about 300,000 U.S. World War II veterans that are still alive today, down from around 939,000 in 2015. Most living veterans from this war are in their 90s, though some are considerably older. Of the 350,000 women who served in the U.S. Armed Forces during the war, only about 14,500 are still alive today. The VA's projections also show that between September 30th, 2019, and September 30th of this year, approximately 245 World War II veterans are expected to be lost each day. These projections were calculated before the COVID-19 pandemic and do not take into account any deaths related to this virus. Finally, it is projected that with God's blessings, the last living American veteran from this war will live and will die in the year 2044. Memorial Day is a time where all of us should pause to remember all our fallen veterans, many from our families who served in the armed forces, many whose names are but inscribed on headstones in cemeteries, and so many others whose names are known to God alone. Today, we honor our fallen veterans, those who gave their lives as their final measure, as coined by our 15th President Abraham Lincoln during his Gettysburg's address delivered on November 19, 1863. This Memorial Day will be unlike any other observance that we have seen in recent past. Memorial Day was known for ushering in the beginning of summer by having large gatherings to watch the various parades held throughout our great nation, and a time where family and friends would gather for cookouts or spending a day at the beach or in the great outdoors. But this year, Due to the coronavirus, many of our states will not have their annual Memorial Day parade or the usual gathering of family and friends. Presently, due to this virus, our country has already seen the deaths of over 95,000 people, many of them veterans and it is projected that our nation will soon surpass 100,000 deaths by June the 1st of this year. This Memorial Day, my thoughts are for all the fallen veterans who have lost their lives and those who have lost their lives during this pandemic. I think of the soldier's home in Holyoke, Massachusetts, where 89 veterans lost their lives. Each departed veteran fought and survived the countless battlefields in so many wars, and sadly, in the end, many lost their lives to this invisible enemy. In nursing homes, and care facilities. Each departed veteran who has died this year due to the virus was a precious individual, both men and women, a husband, a wife, a mother, a father, 
a son, a daughter, a sister, a brother, a grandparent, and even great-grandparents. War is hell. This phrase was spoken by the great Union Civil War General, General William Tecumseh Sherman upon seeing the aftermath of the devastation of the siege at Vicksburg, Mississippi in 1864, where there were over 40,000 casualties. The citizens of Vicksburg were to dig out earthen caves as their homes for protection against the bombardment of cannons and who also suffered a great famine through it. My dear brothers and sisters, it can be said that this present Memorial Day weekend and the pandemic has caused so much sadness in so many families and has become a living hell for the frontline doctors, nurses, first responders, EMTs, paramedics, and healthcare workers who have battled and put their own lives on the line to save the lives of others. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, on this Memorial Day weekend, may we stop for but a moment and remember in prayer all our faithful departed veterans, all those who have fought and died for our freedoms, whether it was on a field of battle in a foreign country or at a health care facility in our own. May we never, never take for granted what they gave for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Today we offer prayers for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, for the homeless, and for the hungry for the unemployed, for all those who serve in the various armed forces defending our freedoms.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, send the promised Spirit upon these gifts and into our hearts to direct our faith, confirm our hope, and enliven our love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we offer you this sacrifice, may we also offer ourselves to carry on the heritage with which we have been entrusted. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The whole Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, O powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, especially at this time when he became our Paschal sacrifice, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for Horus. And by his wondrous resurrection and glorious ascension, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our proud bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. And all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with an honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood 
of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son and Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice, an immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and handmaidens, all those who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. We pray for the repose of the souls of all our departed veterans. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant unto us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen by whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, 
All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity with the Holy Spirit, God. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you did say to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation, though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
Lord, what we have received unto our lips, may we receive mentally, and may this temporal gift become to us an everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood, which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, and whom these holy sacraments have nourished, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we have received the body and blood of your Son Jesus, who called unto himself all those who were oppressed with the burdens of life. May he also draw unto himself all those who have served in the cause of freedom and justice. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice has been offered. Alleluia. Alleluia. Ah, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and for all those for whom I have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence. And the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God, 
These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. Became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On this Memorial Day weekend, may we pray for all our veterans, both living and deceased, as we pray for one another by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for all our faithful departed veterans, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. Shine upon them. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 